In this experiment, we isolated the DNA from a banana. And we started by putting a banana into 250 milliliters of water and blending it. Once we had successfully blended the banana, we then added 25 milliliters of meat tenderizer solution and 25 milliliters of 50% soap solution to the mixture. Once all of these components were mixed together, we were then prepared to boil the mixture for five minutes. Once boiling was complete, we then strained the mixture to remove any larger pieces of banana debris. We then transferred 10 milliliters of the solution to an empty test tube, and we then filled that test tube with ice-cold ethanol. Because DNA is insoluble in ethanol, we are finally able to visualize the DNA in the test tube when we add the ethanol. It's here, this white cloudy substance that appears just above the level of the banana debris. If we allow it to sit at room temperature, the DNA will actually move farther up in the tube over time. Here we can now see a very distinct region of the tube that's filled with the DNA compared to the banana debris.